Hey everyone, it's Alexis from the Holdem and Norfolk Reach Early On Child and Family Centers. Today I'm going to be doing some cooking with you. Did you know that there's so many benefits to cooking with your kids? Reading a recipe and naming ingredients can help with language development and letter recognition. Measuring and counting ingredients can help develop their early math skills. Mixing, chopping, pouring, stirring can all help with their fine motor skills. And the best part is, when children help with the cooking, they're more likely to try it. They want to taste test what they've just made. Involving them in the cooking is a great way to get them to try new healthy foods. Today, we'll be making banana chocolate chip muffins. Enjoy! So for this recipe, we're gonna start by putting all of our dry ingredients into one bowl. Starting off with one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Next, you're going to add half a cup of sugar. This recipe called for brown sugar, but you could use white sugar if you prefer that. Next, add one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda. Now you can whisk all of these dry ingredients together. I found that the whisk didn't really get all of the clumps of brown sugar out, so I used clean hands to smush down all of the clumps of brown sugar. So now we're going to do all of our wet ingredients. So in a separate bowl, add three ripe bananas. This is a great way to use up old bananas. So whenever I have bananas that are starting to turn brown on the counter, I throw them in the freezer and then I just pull them out whenever I want to make a recipe like this one. This is a great lesson for your children about food waste and how we can get creative with our leftovers. Now it's time to mash the bananas. Give your child a few options of different utensils they can use and see which one they like best. I like to just use a fork, but they might find a bigger utensil easier or more fun. Next, you're gonna add one egg into your mashed bananas. If your child's gonna be doing the cracking, I'd suggest to get them to crack it into a separate bowl in case any eggshells get in it. That way it's just in the bowl and not in the rest of the batter. Then add five tablespoons of melted butter. So when I did this, my banana mixture was quite cold so the butter actually started to harden when I put it into the bananas. So I would suggest trying to make sure your bananas are at room temperature so this doesn't happen. But I don't think it really affected it too much. But if this does happen to you, don't worry. It's a great science lesson about how when you melt something and then add it back into a cold environment, it may harden again. Now you can mix the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients and mix it slightly. Next you can add 3 quarters of a cup of chocolate chips or you could use your favorite berries or chopped nuts. Line your muffin tin and add about 1.5 to 2 tablespoons of batter into each cup. Bake in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. Enjoy these delicious muffins!